Hello and thanks for clicking on. This is a follow-up slash review video of Rare Replay for the Xbox One. Okay, very difficult to try and explain this one. Okay, the games that are included in this, once you're up and running, which I'll get into in a minute, very good. It was very fun sort of reliving some of those uh, classic games, particularly from the N64 area, Banjo-Kazooie. Perfect Dark and some of the games that I never got to play like Conker's Bad Fur Fur Day and Banjo Tooie. Again, I never got around to playing that originally. I'm really enjoying it now. Battle Toads, that is fantastic. Where was that? Where was I not told about this many years ago? That was a fantastic game. Really good. Um, you know, reviewing each individual game to a whole, it's something completely altogether different. But the experience of this for me very different to what the games individually were say banjo kazooie one of the greatest 3d platformers ever made all right that can be argued however yeah in the game banjo kazooie nuts and bolts not so good perfect dark brilliant shooter as i said before in the last video better than goldeneye for the n64 good perfect dark zero no nah. so Reviewing all those games into this one game collection, very difficult. Now, the experience of this, once it went into the machine, Xbox One owners now, you have to install the game. Takes a little while, fair enough. This taken nearly four hours on my console. I don't know if there was something wrong on my console, but that was the time that I was looking for to have it fully installed. But not only did it install this, where you get that little musical number when you uh, open it up, but it downloaded a number of the games from the for Xbox Arcade separately, and you can just quickly go into them. I'm gonna say it's old gaming, which I enjoy the actual games, but the experience of this modern next gen, um, very different. Again, today I tried to have a go on it. Needed an update. It's like, well, how much update can be done for something like this where you just play classic games? But honestly, once it's all up and running, fantastic. It's a great, it's probably the best. Remember the Sega Mega Collection that came out a few years ago for various console systems? It's similar to that, but sort of the next level up, it's got some great games on there. It's got some good games, it's got some bad games on there. Um, so the actual games, fantastic that are on there, but the experience of waiting and waiting for over four hours before you can actually play it first time round is a bit of a nightmare. Because, you know, four hours, you'd be well into Banjo-Kazooie or Nuts and Bolts or Perfect Dark or any other game that's on there. In fact, some of the earlier games, I reckon you could probably complete in four hours. Like Snake, Rattle and Roll, which I have had a go on the new system. And it was brilliant, brought back so many memories. In fact, a little thing, it was nice to actually play the game in colour. So that's how old it's been since I played it on the original Nintendo. I only had a black and white telly and there's loads of people probably watching this now who probably weren't even born when it first came out. So it's great to go back into these games, but again, as I say, the experience of waiting and waiting to actually play them, I think something needs to be done about that, because going to the game, pulling the disc, pulling the cart, what have you, hit the play button, load, done, bang, play. Then Them days are gone, unfortunately. It's all this installing, update. Uh, very, a bit frustrating. Apart from that, very good. If you have an Xbox One, I would recommend it, but by gosh, free up a little bit of memory and be very, very patient.